Hello everyone, welcome back. Today uh, we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of some sling options. Now, I'm not going to be talking about like different uh, uh, name brands, slings. I'm going to be talking about how the sling is attached to the rifle, okay? Uh, and I have covered slings in the past, but we got to come at it from a slightly different angle. Okay, so the, the first one I'm going to talk about is the... Uh, um, the single point okay, so hang it through here. So, and, and by the way, the reason I got this video is I just happened to pick up this rifle and I looked at it and like, wow, this thing's like, uh, like it's got attach sling attachments for like every possible configuration. So I said, hey, you know what? Let's do a sling video. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is the single point. Okay, put that up there. Okay, so single point. It just hangs here. This really sucks to run with this rifle because if you're running, this is gonna keep hitting you in the nuts, okay? Uh, the single point is really good if you have like uh, uh, maybe a seven and a half inch barrel or shorter, right? Like if you have one of those uh, PDWs, personal defense uh, weapons, I, I, I got an AR with like a four inch barrel, it's a nine millimeter. Um, so the single point does kind of make sense. Now, um, some people do like uh, a single point for their 16-inch AR. Why would they possibly like this? Well, this is very maneuverable, okay? Um, like, you can, like, be, especially if you're in a vehicle or like, jumping out of a helicopter. I mean, I can, like, turn this around this way, turn it around that way. So, it is very maneuverable. If I'm, I could be on the ground like that, I could be shooting between my legs like that. So, it is highly, highly maneuverable okay so um one of the things i one of the ways somebody put this a while ago they said that uh like two point slings are for carrying your rifle single point slings are for fighting with your rifle okay so and then if you want to kind of stow this right you can also you can also stow it like that right so what you do is you take the magazine tuck it in like this uh, makes it a little bit easier if you got to run or something um you know, so this is a, a neat little trick I learned a while ago, okay? So this is highly maneuverable, um, but the thing is, if you're going to be walking long distances, especially through uneven terrain, through the woods, not a good choice. I generally don't use this sling for this reason, because I am generally walking long distances uh, just to get to different areas that I want to shoot. Okay, so let's undo this one, um, take this one off, and now I'm going to go to the opposite extreme, okay? Uh, we're going to go two-point sling, okay? Uh, in fact, everything else we're going to talk about now uh, is two-point sling with a fast reach sling. There is such a thing as three-point slings, which I don't even know if anybody uses anymore. I've never heard any, anything good about them, and I've never... I mean, they seem complicated and confusing, and I never even really, it's quite honestly, I never even tried it, uh, because I just heard so many bad things about it, and it just, like, just watching other people's videos, it just looked confusing as shit, uh, you know, it, it just looked really confusing. So, um, the two-point sling at the far ends, at the extremes, right? So, I have it on the outside of my stock here, uh, and I have it on the inside of my, uh, my rail over here. Um, and this is really great if you're walking long distances. What I'll do with this is I'll throw this over my back. I'll pull it down as it goes over. I can make this nice and tight. I can use my front, my hands. I can run, okay, um, to retrieve it. I pull this like this, whip it around, come on target. I can let it out a little bit more. If I want to basically, um, uh, if I'm shooting, let's say I, I, I'm, I'm standing, let's say I'm shooting over tall grasses, I can wrap my arm around this to steady the gun like that okay all right so uh really uh really uh, uh useful for carrying it also you can stabilize the gun you know by putting your arms through a sling uh now if you want to go left side right you know well you got to swim out of it right and come through this right now this is one of the reasons why it's critical that the attachment uh, the, the, the stock attachment be on the outside because if it wasn't on the outside when I come over here it's going to choke me okay so with the two point sling uh, what happens is a lot of times we find ourselves uh, having to uh, swim out of it right uh, because you know 
we don't have that like, like if i wanted to shoot like behind me right uh, how am i gonna do that you know i gotta you know uh, you know so i'm like you know i mean i could do it once i swim swim out of it so it kind of forces me to uh um just loop it around my neck and in a combat type of situation i mean yeah it can it can get really confusing if uh, let's say i'm going prone yeah you gotta sl swim out of it or if i'm shooting between my legs i'm gonna swim out of it um so for a lot of maneuvers you're basically just hanging this thing around your neck okay and working with it like this and then when you need to take the load off you put your arm through it okay so so this is you know, so this is the the opposite extreme right of the single point sling having the two point sling uh, at at the far end okay so there's two in betweens okay actually three in betweens just three in betweens okay so um, on this rifle over here I also have a, a Q, I, I have that QD mount that I use for the single point sling what I can do is I can take this off and I can now attach it here. Give it a twist, make sure it's in there. All right, so now I've got this here. Okay, so now that gives me a little bit more flexibility. If I want to go to the other side, I still gotta, I still gotta um, come up. But now, one of the things I find is when I have it attached here, I find myself having to lift the stock over, right, as I do my left side, right side transitions. And that's one of the reasons I don't like this setup, okay? Um, I don't like it. if I have to do a left side transition, I got to lift it up. So uh, I did play around with this for a while and I, I got away from it. Um, if I'm going to go behind me, okay, that side I can go all the way around to this side. Yeah, I got to swim out of it, come over. Uh, there's no, there's not that much of a benefit. So I prefer uh, the, the, you know, having the attachment at the far end. Okay. Now there is another option where let's say I'm going to take this right and i'm going to move it to the rail over here right okay the fast loop. so now with this attachment right there's also the, okay so with this if i'm going to go to this side i can actually do this without swimming out of it so i do have that benefit of being able to do that transition to the other side without having to swim out of it uh so this is popular with people for that reason probably a few others i mean it, it offers it, it's not as uh flexible as a single point but it offers some flexibility so if i'm going to this way no nope, see i'm all tangled up but i'm going to go behind me i have no choice i have to swim out of it in order to get behind me if i'm going to shoot behind me if i'm let's say on a motorcycle or something <laughs> whatever you know picture use your imagination but so so if we're going to that side i gotta swim out of it i don't need to swim out of it to go to this side uh but if i want to do a left side transition i don't have to swim out of it so it's only to go to over my right shoulder that i gotta swim out of it in order to turn the gun around that way okay so there is another option now where we uh want to move this I'm going to put this behind the receiver. So now I've got this hooked up in front and behind the receiver. Okay. So now with this, this gives us a good deal of flexibility, almost as much flexibility as the as the single point. Right. So you can see how I can almost kind of yeah let this out a little bit more. So coming around to this side, easy. Coming around to this side, I can just make it. See, it's see how that's that that is still a little awkward. It's a little a little tight on my face there. Okay, uh, let's see. How about we shorten this just a little bit? That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So by shortening this a little bit, it gives me still see how it's like right on my chin. So I'm not I'm not loving it. I mean, of course, you got the option of s s swimming out of it. But if you're gonna do that, you might as well just go to the two-point sling, right? I'm or, no, I mean rather go to the far ends. Um, now here's see how this is now getting tangled up over here. So yeah, so this is also an issue. Now how about for a left side transition? Can't do it there. How about if I untangle it? Yeah, as long as you don't get tangled up, you can do the left side transition 
that as long as you don't get tangled up, if this comes, if this gets tangled up and you come over the top like this, yeah, now, you, now you're going to have issues, okay? So, um, I've played around with all these, and my favorite is just to sling at the two far ends. Um, Here, over there. So, so this is this is this is my favorite. This is the one that makes the most sense for me. Um, you know, not it's just to do a left side transition. I have I have to swim at it. Now swimming out of it is actually easier because it attaches all the way down there. You know, my arm just comes out of it really easy. I'm able to come out of this a lot easier than when it was attached in any of the other positions. Okay. So if I had, let's say, in front and back of the receiver, um, or you know, or some combination, right? Uh, what I found is that, yeah, sometimes I can swing around all the way, but for those situations where I needed to get my arm out of it, that was slow. That was way slower than this. This I can get out of it. Come all the way back here. So this ends up being the fastest for me. Okay. Um, it doesn't get tangled up. If I need to do a left side transition, come there. Okay, right? See, I'm not getting tangled up because I go back and forth. Okay, so just over my back. Pull it down. I can now hike through the woods. I need to retrieve it. Put my thumb there. Bring it around. Get on target. I need to... So, basically, uh, pros and cons. Um, I mean, yeah, if you're going to be like just in and out of a car, just going short distances, um, shooting short distances, you know, probably a single point with a very with a short barrel might be the better choice for you. My situation, I'm usually walking long distances and shooting, the shooting distances can be anything from C2B distance to, you guys see me doing videos where like I'm shooting, you know, a 500 to 1,000 yards sometimes, right? Um, and yeah, here's the thing, a lot of times if you're shooting those distances, like, you know, you don't want to leave your gun, you know, and just walk to go check the target. So, um, I'm not going to take all my stuff, but I'm going to take my gun with me, okay? So, I want to be able to throw the gun over my back. I don't, I, the rest of the stuff I can leave behind me. I can throw this over my back, I can go look at my targets. It's not tiring, you know, uh, and then I can walk back, and then I can get back into position, so... Um, so yeah, th those are my thoughts on this. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you have a personal favorite, let me know. Talk to y'all soon.